What's going on everybody? Back to doing the ride home review. I know that I uh, heard from some of you that really enjoy it. So uh, here we go for this week. Uh, this week I viewed Logan for those who weren't paying attention to my posts. And uh, Logan was directed by James Mangle, starring, of course, Hugh Jackman as Logan, uh, Patrick Stewart, reprising his role as Professor X or Charles Xavier, and introducing Daphne Keene as an incredible, in an incredible role. Um, as well, in the in the comics, she she'd be known as X twenty three. Um, this was. Uh, based on the old man Logan uh, storyline and what I really liked about this movie was it was a great story um, it was as Hugh Jackman put it his last last time around as this character and so I'm just uh, it was a great story from beginning to end as a it's, it was really well put together. Um, you really got the, the chemistry between all the characters, especially between Professor X and uh, Wolverine and Wolverine and the, and the young girl. I really liked her role. Her character was absolutely insane. I mean, the plot was, you know, the well, it wasn't really too, the bad guys weren't too much of a stretch from some of the earlier X-Men type movies, it was a little bit of the same thing um, um, with that, but you really, you really felt the deterioration of the Logan character physically throughout the movie, and I don't know. I mean, I thought it was it was uh, hard to see the character go through some some of the trials and tribulations that he was going through, uh, but uh, the the fight scenes were spectacular. This movie needed to have the R rating to to really show exactly what the character is going through, and you know, not to skimp on how violent this life and their lives could be. So uh, it was. Uh, I never thought I would see another young girl character be more violent in a movie than Hit Girl from Kick-Ass, but uh, Daphne Keene as, as, uh, as young Laura was just, oh, she was vicious. She was vicious. So, um, like I said, uh, the things I didn't like where I, I just didn't feel like uh, the villains were, it was just, that was just kind of a rehash thing, but um, uh, but for the most part, the story really revolved around uh, Logan, his relationships, and his life, um, and reflecting on that. Um, and, you know, if you're a Wolverine fan, you'll finally be satisfied with a Wolverine movie that is true to form um, with the character. Uh, the last couple solo movies... Oof. They're a bit rough compared to uh, what this what this movie did. I mean, cinematically, it was it was great, and uh, the story and the the character development was really was really good too. So and um, and that's it. That that's Wolverine in a nut or excuse me, Logan in a nutshell. Uh, some th some things to to pay attention to. How they integrated the movie Shane as part of the narrative, um, and just think about that homage and and how it fits with the the story of of Logan. So, as you know, I like to do these every week. Um, let me know what you thought of the movie. If you saw Logan, what were your thoughts on on the development uh, of, of how this movie went, the development of the characters? what you saw, how you felt. No spoilers though, don't put any spoilers out there. This is a brand new movie. Uh, not everybody has, uh, has seen it. I've tried to avoid uh, as much spoilers as I could. I don't think I, I gave away any, but anyway. So just let me know whether, whether you liked the movie and what you liked about it. Just put it in the comments below. Um, also, next week, 
Um, I'll either be reviewing uh, Get Out or uh, Kong Island, Skull Kong Island or however that is. Um, it all depends on, on how that falls. But anyway, I appreciate you tuning in and I'll check it next week. Uh, like this and, and uh, give me a comment. I hope you like it. Talk to you soon.